today I have the pleasure of talking with Ho'ai Lincoln, who is the cultural coordinator of the Hawaiian Mission Houses. Happy you could be with us. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Perhaps you can share with the audience how important it is for you to be in the role at the Mission Houses. It, it is. It's an incredible opportunity to be in this space um, and a very interesting how life works, <laughs> sends you to places that you didn't necessarily plan on being at. Um, the Mission Houses Historic Site and Archive has, it, it's such a historic place. There's so much story in there. And I think a lot of, of misconceptions of the story in that space. Well, certainly, and I appreciate you sharing that because growing up here in Hawaii and understanding a little bit more about the history, mm -hmm. I had an aversion yeah. to going to the mission houses, um, and, but that has changed. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> but that is, um, that's a common feeling, especially for Hawaiian people, like myself, even before I started working there, I had the same feeling. And what I've realized in my work there and being there in the, year that, the years now that I've been there, um, our presence in that space is so important. Having our communities come in there and be in this incredibly important historic period and place is crucial to making sure that the history, the entire story, all of the perspectives of that story are not lost. Now also the Mission Houses have accelerated their role in the community. They're not just buildings and not just stories. I mean, this Pupu Theater in the evening is yes. pretty extraordinary. Cemetery Pupu Theater has become the, the star child of what we've <laughs> done at the Mission Houses. And it is, it's incredible. It's such a unique concept. We take historical portrayals of people that are, are buried up at Oahu Cemetery, people who have influential stories, um, roles in Hawaii's history, and, and we hire professional, talented actors. So it's dramatic portray. enactment. It is dramatic reenactments, um, scripts that are written uh, and, and research done both from our archives and from newspapers and, and the works that we have of these people, their actual words, their voices portrayed at their gravestones. And it seems perfect to be having this conversation because you're nearby here downtown. Yes. <laughs> um, and we're also in a place of creativity here. Mm -hmm. Did you always, were you always interested in history? And I'm actually a music major. Ah. Um, that's what I studied in school. And the history of, of my people as a Hawaiian, I, I, I was taught it, I was lucky to be taught it at a young age from my father, from my studies in hula, um, and all of the Hawaiian studies classes that I did take at UH when I was able to. Um, it, is, it is such a complicated story. And like all history, you know, there, there are many sides, there's many perspectives. And every day at work, I've, I find more, I learn more about our history. Um, I think people incorrectly and often assume that history is done already. So there's a beginning and a middle and an end, and it's an easy story to tell. And there's only one truth. Right, and that's couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So as you begin to explore as a cultural coordinator, programs coordinator at mm -hmm. the Mission Houses, you also are extending to shores beyond Hawaii. Yes. <laughs> so we have beautiful programs that we do already on our site and our history theater program, our mele program, which I'm head of. But we're also traveling specifically to the continent next year um, during a, this year already, because it's 2019, yeah, yeah. September through October, end of September through October, we're going to be in New England. And we being Moses Goods and myself, we are traveling a production that Moses Goods wrote, a play called My Name is Opu Kaha'ia. Um, it's just a story that a lot of people think they know who Henry Opu Kaha'ia was. I believe that he is a catalyst for the change that happened to Hawaii. So what is the significance of doing this play in New England? Well, going to the continent is, is this incredible opportunity commemorating the bicentennial of the missionaries coming to Hawaii. They left 200 years ago, um, and this will be the first time in 200 years where there was going to be a service done in the Hawaiian language at Park Street Church. It's going to be 
Amazing, and chicken skin. Totally. <laughs> and Moses is a fabulous yeah. storyteller. He's incredible. <laughs> You're going to have a wonderful time. <laughs> yeah, so we've, we've been lucky enough to do this production a few times. We've done it at other locations um, here in Hawaii. We just recently were on Kauai, doing it on Kauai. And I, I do this opening um, segment before Moses comes on and does his piece, talking about history of music in Hawaii. Which is your creative thread uh, yeah, that you add. Yeah, that's my passion, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And, and there, is, there is a thread that connects it all. And it's easy, because history is so complicated, if you choose one lens to look and follow, it could be the history of medicine in Hawaii, it could be the history of governance um, and, and music. Is one way to history of women's leadership roles. Yes. <laughs> Very <laughs> we're gonna, much. So. We're going to pause this conversation sure. for today and look forward to having you join us another time. Thank yes. you very much for sharing. Thank you. It's Thank really you wonderful much. to feel your energy and passion. Oh, wow. Thank you. We've had a wonderful opportunity to have a conversation with Ho'ai Lincoln, who is the cultural programs coordinator at the Hawaiian Mission Houses. Aloha for being with us.